Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz with Lux Imagery Boudoir in Granite Bay, California. And today I wanted to talk about some of the outfits that you can bring to your boudoir shoot. So I'm not gonna go over every single outfit you can wear in your boudoir shoot, but I wanted to talk about the most popular ones. Let's get started. So the first outfit is actually my favorite, and that's the teddy. It's actually a lingerie piece. It's very similar to what we call a bodysuit, um, but the bodysuit is more something like an undergarment that you'd wear out with a pair of jeans and a jacket or something. Teddies are really similar to a one-piece bathing suit, essentially. It's a one-piece lingerie, so it's really great for those who are a little tummy conscious or want to highlight other areas, like if you have really nice shoulders and arms or nice long legs, it's a really great piece to highlight those areas without feeling self-conscious about your tummy. Any body type can wear this and look amazing. The next piece is your typical bra and panty set. It's what everyone thinks about when they think of lingerie. Now, personally, I like to add a garter belt to my bra and panty sets. It doesn't mean you have to wear stockings with your garter belt, but I really love the more interesting look. It adds a more dynamic dimension to your outfit as a whole and gives your hands something to do by pulling on the straps. There are many variations of the bra and panty sets, obviously, so find whatever fits you and flatters you the most. Fit is really important when it comes to a bra and panty set, especially the underarm. We wanna make sure it's not too snug here and make sure that the straps actually flatter you. If you have really nice shoulders, a thinner strap is probably going to flatter you a little bit more. And you can find a pair of panties that can flatter you as well. I love the high-waisted panties if you feel like you are a little tummy conscious or something extremely minimal like a nice thong or a g-string is actually really nice as well. The third most popular item is an oversized sweater. Now, this is super casual and doesn't really, you don't think boudoir photo shoot when you think of a sweater. Who brings a sweater to a boudoir shoot, right? But honestly, this is one of my favorites because it allows you to take your time getting into a more vulnerable space with me. I actually start almost every shoot with an oversized sweater just because it gives you something to do with your hands and it makes you feel a whole lot more comfortable. You can pair your sweater with a cute pair of panties, and if your sweater isn't see-through, you can actually go topless underneath. It all depends on the implications you want to show in your shoot. If you have a couple sweaters at home, bring them with you, and we can go over them at your photo shoot, or your photographer can go over them with you. The last outfit that's really popular to bring along to your boudoir shoot, and what most photographers will actually have handy for you, is a robe or a fur coat. If you have something that's really special to you, maybe your great-grandmother passed on a beautiful fur coat, bring it along to your shoot. That will look gorgeous. What I love about the robe or kimono is that it's much more feminine than just like the button-up shirt, but it allows us to add a ton of movement and give us a more dynamic shot. It also allows us to give a little bit more suggestion. We can keep it PG and have your bra and panty set underneath, or my favorite is using the robe to cover someone who's topless. So there you have it, ladies. That's four outfits I recommend bringing along to your boudoir shoot. This gives you the most variety for your shoot and ultimately the most variety for your photo album. I'd really love to hear if you have any other favorites. So drop a comment below if you have any other suggestions for women to bring along to their shoot. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.